Hi everyone and welcome back. It's Mindy here for Neat and Tangled and in today's video I'm going to be showcasing this beautiful 6x8 foliage frame stamp set. So this is a look at the stamp set. You can see it is a nice large stamp with a beautiful frame and lots of gorgeous scripty sentiments. I'm going to show you a little trick when stamping this. So I have Bristol Smooth cardstock laid down in my Misty and now when you have stamps that have that center like that sometimes you can get a bubble. So what I'll do is once I have it set on the door of my Misty, I'm just going to peel up that one corner until I see all of those bubbles gone and I'm just going to push that down. That way when you ink this up, you're not going to get ink on that raised if there was a bubble there. So that just helps save you from maybe cutting your stamps or anything like that. A nice little trick that you can do. So I am prepping my cardstock with an anti-static powder tool because I'm going to be heat embossing on this entire background. I'm using Versifying Claire uh, ink to do this. This is a really nice thick black ink. It's going to stay wet for me for a little bit so I can do some heat embossing. So I'm just making sure I have that covered everywhere. I'm going to just gently press this down and then I will stamp it again. I just want to make sure it is a really nice crisp black. So I'll go in one more time, make sure my cardstock is still tucked into that corner. Stamp that down. And then I'm going to be using some clear embossing powder. Now you could use black, but I think clear is just a really nice way to make that black pop a little bit. So I'm just going to sprinkle this all over my entire background. And I have these misty pads. They're just uh, sheets of paper that you can buy, and they work really great for catching your excess. So once I have that entire background covered, shake off that excess, and then I'm going to come in with my heat tool and I'm going to have my heat tool warming up off on the side for a few minutes because I want to come at my cardstock really hot so that it melts it quickly. And you'll see it just turns this really nice shiny black. Once that has cooled off and I wiped off any excess powder that I may have had, I'm going to be doing some ink blending, which is why I had stamped this on Bristol Smooth cardstock. So I'll be using the Blueprint Sketch Peacock Feathers and Cracked Pistachio. I'm starting off with that Cracked Pistachio in the middle of the card. That's going to be kind of my highlight area. Now this stamp set does also come with coordinating dies. It is going to cut out that middle piece. Now you could leave it if you wanted to and just stamp a sentiment. I'm going to be cutting this out. So I'm not real worried about how good my ink blending is in that dead center of the card. I want to make sure that those leaves right around it are nice and covered with the ink. So I'm using some of these life-changing blender brushes. This just helps me uh, apply a nice smooth coat of the Distress Oxide ink in that area. And then I'm going to come in with the Peacock Feathers. And these two colors together are absolutely stunning. I love them. I don't know why I don't use these two colors together more. But I'm taking that Peacock Feathers and going around that cracked pistachio, trying to blend in a little bit to it. Once I have a nice blend between the cracked pistachio and the Peacock Feathers, I'm going to come in with the Blueprint Sketch and I'm going to use that right on the outer edges of my card panel. So now you can see I did grab some post-it tape. That's helping protect my fingertips and my card panel because uh, you could transfer some of your oils from your fingers and get fingerprints all over your background. So that's protecting my fingertips and my background. Now I will come back in and add some more of that cracked pistachio and the peacock feathers just to really brighten that up, really bring those colors out. Now with this, typically what I would have done is wiped off all of that excess ink because I want to make that uh, black embossing pop a little bit more, but I completely forgot to do that. I'm jumping right into my splatters. I am using some Perfect Pearls, and what I did is just scoop a little bit out on the side, spritz some water, mix it together, and then I'm going to flick this onto my background. So this is just a really nice shiny mix. I think it worked really well with this foliage frame. So once I'm happy with all of the speckles, it's about here that I kind of realized I needed to wipe all of that excess ink off first because my black just wasn't popping. So I'm going to set it off on the side to dry for a few minutes and then I came back in and was able to wipe off that ink to bring that foliage frame out a little bit more. Once I kind of have that wiped down, I do come back in and add some more speckles just to bring that shimmer out a little bit more. 
So you can use any dry cloth, paper towel that you have. This is actually a Swiffer cloth that I had handy. So since I still had some of that mix left, I just came back in and added a little bit more shimmer to that. So this does come with a coordinating die set. I'm going to die cut out that middle. So I'm going to take that to the center of my cardstock and just kind of twist and turn until I get this lined up. They do cut really close to the leaves. So when you're trying to figure out the spot to match it up with, just keep that in mind. It does die cut really close to those leaves. I'll hold that in place with the purple tape. And now I have a die cut center out of my card. I just had run that through my die cutting machine. I want to add now a sentiment to the middle. So I'm using my Misty tool to line up. I have an A2 size white card base, so four and a quarter by five and a half. I had trimmed down my ink blended panel to four by five and a quarter and lined that up in the Misty, holding it in place with a magnet. That way I can line my sentiment up perfectly in the middle. I know it's gonna fit. And then before I stamp, I want to remove that just in case because accidents do happen. So that way I just have my white cardstock here. And I'm still going to use the VersaFine ink that just happened to be on my desk yet. And it is a really good black ink. And we have this beautiful scripty font, The Thinking of You. So to give my card just a little bit of dimension, I'm going to line the entire back with some foam tape and attach that to my card panel. Now you could also turn this into a shaker card, would be an amazing idea to use with this frame set. So once I remove the backing of that foam tape, I'll just line that up so I have a nice clean white edge around my ink blended panel. And that is going to finish up today's card. I wanna thank you so much for stopping by today. I hope you enjoyed today's card project. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That just helps get the video in front of more viewers. Share with your friends if you think they'd enjoy this. And subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.